Juku goes in. We're just about ready. Start to say is go, and they're off and racing from that 1800 meter marker. They came out as one. King Pelez shows some signs of intent around runners, but there is pressure from the inside draws. You've got just Vaux up there as well, but for now, King Pelez is about a half a length. Make that a length in front of just Var, who's right there in second. Then comes Natyam racing in the white and blues in third. Further back is Harajuku, who's a bit headstrong in the early parts of the race. Prevalence with African Torrent. They found themselves four lengths off the leader. Then comes Gainsford. Tamarus Trees got the pink sleeve leaves and the pink cap and blackberry malt is a good seven or eight lengths off the leader. So just Vars now in front. He's gone about a length and a half in front of King Pelez, who's happy to race one out in second. African Torrent is in third and scraping paint. Then comes Natyam, who's in a good position, poised to strike in fourth. Prevalence with Harajuku. Further back, you're going to find Tamaris Tree, who's about seven lengths off the leader. Gainsford and Blackberry Malt still the back marker. So not much has changed. It's still just Vars in front with Ashton Aries and goes off to lead them with in second, King Pelez, African Torrent. Then comes Natyam, Prevalence, Harajuku, Tamaris Tree, Gainsford and Blackberry Malt. They swing in line for home and they greet the judge. It's just Var with King Pelez to the outside. Natyam still under the hands, traveling well enough. If he's good enough, he should win. He's still two lengths off them, but he moved into the race with Harajuku, who's on the outside and running a big race. Then comes just Var, Natyam, Harajuku. King Pelez is right there to strike. Strike. Harajuku on the outside. Natyam Gutsy. King Pelez behind that. It's Harajuku who runs at Natyam. Natyam Gutsy with Harajuku. Harajuku, Natyam very close. Maybe Harajuku. Ahead of Natyam, Tamaris Tree. Then came African Torrent and Prevalence. We'll wait for the judge to post those numbers. But Harajuku, I think, pulled out enough over here to beat Natyam. Obviously, he did have one or two excuses down at the gates, did Natyam, but he's run with a lot of credit. Well done to Justin Snaith, to J.P. Fundamava, three-year-old son of Danon Platina. Well done to Mr. Greg Bortz and Gina Goldsmith. They came together that last bit, one or two bumps. But Harajuku, he's always been a smart horse, and he's now going to become a two-time winner from six starts. This one bred by the Rathmore Stud Farm. I'll get you back to the studio. Two more to come through from Hollywood Bets Kenilworth. That'll be race eight and race nine. Anthony Andrews, African current. Anthony, it looked like the pace maybe could have cost you a bit. Yeah, you know, he, everything worked out. He was comfortable at everything, but he just gave me a bit of a flat spot in the straight. And uh, then he kicked on and fired on nicely towards the line. So I think uh, if he brings it all together next time, this was his second run after coming down. Um, he'll be a big runner. Yeah, I thought, just, as you say, the flat spot, if the pace was a bit better, then you probably wouldn't have happened, but he finished it off well. Yeah, I know. I was trying to hide him away from the wind, too. I had a perfect thing. Could have cost me a little bit in the straight, but, um, yeah, good run, nevertheless, and I think he'll be there next time. Cheers, Anthony. We're going to go to Alistair shortly with the winning jock. So there's a bit of a debrief in the number one box. There's Harajuku, um, and all is glory. Hard-fought win from the son of Dan and Platina. I'm actually looking forward to chatting to JP about this guy because he doesn't settle in the early stages. He farts for his head, doesn't do things 100% correctly, but uh, he has been able to win for the second time in his career today. Hard-fought win over number five, Nat Charm, who surely is going to get his next win in Cape Town sooner rather than later. Put up a bold performance. Lovely finish between the two, but Harajuku ends up winning the uh, seventh race on the card. And uh, no wonder Justin Snaith is spending a lot of time in the number one box. It's his first visit there today. Um, so he's just uh, getting his feet on the ground under that lovely arch. Here comes JP, the winning jockey. So uh, we'll chat to him in just a few moments. He's making a habit of winning race number seven on a Saturday. And he thinks this isn't a great one. Um, JP, very well done. Lovely win. Nice win for the boss. Thank you, B. Yeah. Not B. B's upstairs. Um, um, what, what, what's going on with this guy? Because he farts in the early stages. Again, didn't really settle over 1,800 meters. That's a bit of a red flag, but he was still able to win. Early, if you watch his win, you'll say with Grant, one pretty easy one by five lengths, looks like quality. But back at home, he's hard work, he's a big boy key, um, a little bit too aggressive, and I think slowly, slowly we're getting to the best of him. Uh, like he was doing it better today, still fighting a little bit too much, but um, I think with time, the penny will drop. The quality is there, the class is there, we just need him to drop a little bit mentally, just chill a little bit, but um, I think it's 
Absolutely getting there. How close do you think he is then to being the finished article? Still a few runs, do you think maybe, what's the timeline? End of the season, couple of runs, time, start of next season, when are we going to see the best of him? Oh, early, it's not, you know these horses, they make us look so stupid sometimes, but um, yeah, I think after every run, he's just going to keep on getting better. Um, I'm sure we'll see the best of him beginning next year. How badly did he want that win because Louis was not lying down? With this head win, it's not easy. I thought Louis pulled the trigger a little bit earlier in this head win, but um, I was so much underneath me. And, um, I just waited for him to get going, and when I asked him to quicken, there was still legs everywhere, but um, I was hoping I'm going to get there. Well done, James. Thank you. Well done to JP Fanamava, the winning jockey. Well done to all the connections. Like I said, Justin stays first one of the afternoon. Well done to Greg Bortz, the winning owner in partnership with Gina Goldsmith, son of Dan on Platina, Harajuku, now a two-time winner from six. Let's go to Vicky. Thank you very much, Alistair. With me is Greg Bortz, uh, part owner in with uh, Harajuku. And wonderful to see this horse back in the winner's box. Yeah, I think we were uh, looking for great things after he won his maiden so easily. And it's obviously taken a while to get caught up with you know, I think catch up to his rating, I think. In regards to him as a horse, I remember when he won in the winter, he looked quite sort of scruffy, like a bit of a, a rough uh, schoolboy, but now he looks like he's furnishing quite well. JP says, still a little bit aggressive, but that means there's something to work with. That must be encouraging. Yeah, I mean, he looked like Justin, and now he's sort of uh, turning into Jono, a little more slick, so. <laughs> Great well done for the win. Thanks very much. Talking about Justin, <laughs> Justin, please come across and uh, join me. You are getting it from all sides today. I tell you, Nick, Nick, the other day, <laughs> saying that I'm clueless. <laughs> As you win a Grade One on the same day. Yeah, but that's why I say I always say I've got the best assistant trainers, some of my owners, and Nick certainly is one of them. So uh, uh, it's it's always a pleasure. I actually started with that banter when I when I had Barry Irwin in my yard, and he was like the the best assistant trainer I had. And then I got Etienne, and then Nick and Greg, and <laughs> all my owners like to give me a hard time. But it's fantastic. It's a, I think a lot of them have become more friends than than you don't use the word owner. It's more. Um, yeah, as I said, they've, they've all, they're all very close to us. So to, to win the races for them, and uh, it's just incredible. This horse has been a, a very hard one because um, he won his maiden so impressively, but I owned, uh, my brother uh, and I owned the horses that ran third and fourth in the race, and they've never won. So here you have a horse with a 97 rating, but the field was really, really bad. So it's taken us... Oh, four months, six months to get to where we are now, just so we can compete and um, over the moon that he's now made that uh, improvement. Uh, he's a horse that does have his issues and, uh, you know, the equipment all helps. And uh, I, I must be honest, taking him to the beach was a, was a big plus. So um, that uh, got his head right and uh, made a big difference. So congratulations to everyone concerned. It's a lovely win. Well done, Justin. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Well done to Justin Snaith uh, in regards to Harajuku, the son of Dan on Platina. Well done to Rathmore Stud for breeding. A lovely horse, and as I've mentioned, it has, it's been a bit of a, a journey to get here, but lovely to see him notch, notch up his second career win. And gentlemen, and the winner of the Hollywood Bets winning groom is none other than Mr. John. Mr. John, congratulations. Massive, massive, massive congratulations. Harajuku, a fantastic horse, a stunning horse. What a grey, a horse that is owned by the marvellous... Greg Bortz and Gina Goldsmith. John, tell me, how long have you been working for Snaith Racing? Yeah, more than 12 years from now, from 2010. More than 12 years from 2010? That is very long. You're part of the furniture now, John. A massive, massive, massive congratulations to you. And tell me, what other horses have you worked with? What You must be. 12 years with Snaith Racing, you must have worked with champion, champions horses in the past. Quintus Light and the Double Grand Land. Quintus Light, I've heard that name before. That's the horse that won just the other week, am I correct? Sorry. That's still correct, yeah? Quintus Light, here's the groom of Quintus Light as well as Harajuku. Clearly, he's a groom of winners. Ladies and gentlemen, that is race number seven here at Hollywood Bets Kenilworth. What a win for Greg Bortz and Gina Goldsmith.